Hello friends, I hope everybody's doing good. My name is Artie and in this video I have this PB500H uh, leaf blower here and it came back in again for the same problem. It has an intermittent bogging problem. Um, in a previous video that I did, we changed the fuel filter which seemed to be clogged. I also changed the uh, primer bulb and I cleaned out the carburetor and the diaphragm in the carburetor, you know, seemed to be okay. It was very flexible and everything. So I put it back together as far as that went. I also put a brand new Champion Spark plug in it and I wanted to take off the uh, spark arrestor but the uh, screws were rusted in. So I couldn't get that apart. Um, in today's video, I would like to uh, get to the spark arrestor on it and take it, you know, take the spark arrestor out and just make sure that that's okay and clean it out if need be. And with this intermittent problem here, I'm thinking it could be just like a fuel delivery, like the fuel lines possibly. Because I know in my experience, you know, when you have like a dirty carburetor or the carburetor is running too lean, you'll have a, like a bogging problem. And um, I don't think it's the carburetor, you know. I mean, even when I took the carburetor apart, it seemed to be pretty clean, but I cleaned it out anyway while I had it apart to put the primer bulb in. Um, I don't want to just start changing parts on the thing and just guessing. I want to really figure out exactly what's going on uh, as far as fuel delivery. I want to show you the uh, fuel lines on this. And I don't like the way the uh, gas tanks are mounted on these. They're mounted towards the front of the engine here. And it has a real long fuel line that goes down and then it comes back up to the carburetor. I don't know, maybe the uh, fuel lines could be collapsing. I'm not really sure what. Um, what I'm going to do now is, I haven't started it up today. Uh, Patrick just dropped it back off to me yesterday. Now, he used it a few times already. Now, the last time he used it, he said he ran it for about an hour. And then after an hour, it started doing that bogging thing again. He was able to start it back up. And he even said he took the uh, air filter out, which we know the air filter is clean already. I suggested to, to him, you know, when he gets a chance to get a new one, but it's not an emergency to replace the uh, air filter on it. Um, he said it did the same thing after he took the uh, air cleaner out. So... The way he describes it, it has a little more of a bogging problem than it did to begin with. Um, I'm hoping, like, intermittent problems like this are, are hard to figure out. Like, when I was fixing cars, the worst thing was an intermittent problem. It, it's better when something just doesn't run right or won't start or something like that instead of being an intermittent problem. So what I'm going to do right now is I'll... Uh, set the camera up to where I'm going to start this thing up and I'll let it run and we'll see what happens with it Okay, so here it's the gas tank here and then the lines run down here Back over here and up here So I don't know if There's a problem in the fuel lines. Maybe I know usually with my experience If it was the carburetor if it was a carburetor problem. It would just bog all the time you know, like if it was a lean mixture, it would just keep bogging until you richened it up or cleaned out the carburetor. But being that this is intermittent, I'm not thinking that the carburetor's bad. I mean, whoever watches this and, you know, has a different opinion on that, uh, please let me know. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'll start it up. I might shut the camera off. If it doesn't start bogging right away, I'll just stop filming and then I'll just let it run until it starts bogging and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so let's start it up. See what we got going here. I'll give it a couple of times. Joke it. 
All right, so for the heck of it, I just hooked up the uh, spark tester. I'm going to run it with that. It bogged down a little bit, but not enough to really bog down to where it wanted to stall or anything. But I'll see how that works out then. Okay, so it started bogging a little bit, but not real bad. Uh, but I had the spark tester, tester hooked up to it. And as far as the spark went, didn't skip a beat. Um, so right now I'm going to take this uh, cover off here and we're going to go after the spark arrestor just to put that out of sight, out of mind. I don't know if that will cause an uh, intermittent problem, but I'll just take this apart here and see if I can get those screws out. Like I said, the screws were rusted in there, otherwise I would have loved to have taken it apart when we were... Uh, doing it the first time so I think you can still see what's going on here just uh, two screws on top and there's two on the bottom here I'm almost hoping that it's the um, fuel lines. Since it's 12 years old, just for peace of mind, it'd be nice to just change the fuel lines out anyway, whether it's the problem or not. But let's see what's going on here with the spark arrestor. If we could even get it apart. With this over here, there's a clip here for the spark plug wire. So now, if you don't clip this in, and you just mount this on here, you can't, I guess you could, yeah, now if, if you try to force it in, you'll probably break this clip off. So you always gotta remember to stick this uh, spark plug wire in here where it belongs before you bolt up the cover. Oh, there's another screw. There's five screws. Sorry. I thought there was four.
the wiring harness also, uh, there's a clip right here. You have to unclip the wiring harness so you can pull this thing off. All right, so let me get this thing up, up here like this. And the problem was, let me make sure you're in line here. The problem was the screws in here did hold this on, this cover on here, and then the spark arrester is inside there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some uh, spray. I'm going to spray it. I'll be back to you. There's no sense in you waiting for me to go get the spray. Okay, so there's five Phillips head screws in here, and I tried to take one of these out. The last time we worked on it and it just wouldn't it wouldn't budge so sometimes what i do is i just take the hammer and give it a couple of shots and sometimes that'll jar it loose it would be nice to have one of those impact drivers and i don't have one anymore it, that went with my toolbox when i sold my toolbox which i highly regret that one all right, let me see if I can um, figure something else out here. Maybe I'll use this bigger handle uh, screwdriver here. Um, see if I can find a good... Wow, everything's rusted in here. This has a heavier handle on it. Maybe it'll help us to get this these screws out. Not having it. Try another one, maybe. I know you're not in view here, but I'm trying to. Man, they're, st they're stuck really good in here. Let me get back to you and see if I can bust these things loose by hit hitting the screwdriver with a hammer. Okay, so we're down to the last screw here. I got the rest of them loosened up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the screwdriver on there. Now I'm just going to take the hammer and give it a couple shots. And then what I do is I take my uh, channel locks. I try to tighten it up a little bit first and just keep wiggling it uh, and there it goes it busted loose I mean spraying the penetrating oil on here does help um, so I'm going to take these screws out and we'll see what the uh, spark arrestor looks like and I'll be right back to you The spark arrestor appears to be in great shape, but I'm just going to uh, spray it with some carburetor cleaner and clean it up real good and just take the wire brush and just hit it and stick it back in there. So there's nothing wrong with that. That's all good. I figured it was, but it'll be out of sight, out of mind that we checked it. Okay, let me show you what it's doing now. It was bogging a little more before I started the camera back up. I'm going to see if he wants to take a $25 gamble and put a new carburetor on it. The fuel lines to me, I, I traced them down. They don't look collapsed or anything like that. And then we had the fuel line out of the gas tank when I changed the uh, fuel filter. And it seemed to be, you know, in pretty good shape there as far as that went. Um, I can't think of anything else it could be besides the carburetor 
So I'll get back to you guys. Um, I think I'm going to end this video here. If not, then I'll continue it. But I'll call him up and see if he wants to go for uh, a carburetor for it. Um, yeah, I looked him up last night. You know, I think I saw it for like 25 26 bucks. 26 um, I don't know what else to do with it. Um, when I had the... I think I explained it before. When I had the spark tester hooked up to it, it did start bogging. But it still had good steady spark. So... I mean, I didn't think it was the uh, coil or anything like that, but you never know. And plus, out of sight, out of mind, I know that's okay. And then we did the spark arrestor thing. And like I said, be careful Be careful with those Phillips head screwdrivers. Do it the way I did it. Because you, once you strip the, the head on that, then on the screw, then you're in trouble, you know. So, I'll keep you updated either on the same video or... On any up upcoming video. So I'm going to tell them to uh, order a carburetor for it. Or I'll order one. And we'll try that. We'll go from there. Alright. Thanks for watching. Stay safe everybody. And I'll see you all on the next one. Okay. So I went back online again. So I found that it was an ASEN. A-I-S-E-N. Carburetor. And it comes with the air filter, it comes with the uh, uh, fuel filters, comes with an extra primer bulb, uh, comes with the fuel lines. Um, I would like you guys uh, to let me know what you think of, of that. It was like 23 24 bucks for the whole kit. The spark plug it comes with, it will be thrown in the garbage or I'll use it for when I'm painting engines or something. But... We won't be using the spark plug out of that kit, that's for sure. But I'm not really familiar with these aftermarket carburetors, so let me know. A-I-S-E-N. Uh, I would appreciate it. Just leave it in the comments for me, what you guys think of it, or if you ever used them before. Um, and that's going to be about it. And then um, I'll probably make another video on this when we uh, do the work on it. And... Like I said, thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody out as far as getting the spark arrestor out at least. And I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks again. Stay safe now.